Right now, it is October as this video is being published, and that means Halloween is around the corner. My last video, I looked at some shaders that will help turn Subnautica and Below Zero into a more horror style game than it really already is. So for this video, I did some digging around the web using Google and Reddit, and I found a few things that people have suggested out there that are evil things you can do in the world of Subnautica. So if you're currently bored with your gameplay in Subnautica or Below Zero, and you're just looking for some ways to spice the gameplay up, here are some evil things you can try that you might find fun or you just might find silly. First, we have Propulsion Cannon Fodder. Now, the Propulsion Cannon is a useful tool, more so in the first game because you use it to move some things around out of the way, which helps you get through a certain path in a certain spot that I don't want to say too much about in case it spoils it for some of you. But you can also use the Propulsion Cannon to grab fish and other objects and move them around and shoot them. Obviously, one of the most useful ones for this is to take crash fish that you raise in your alien containment and use them like homing missiles. But that's not really evil, is it? Because crash fish are naturally homing missiles, so when you do that, you're really just helping them fulfill their destiny. So for the evil aspect, one of the suggestions on Reddit was to take a fish, such as a peeper, and then use it to shoot another peeper. Basically, killing a fish with its own kind. Now, I know some of you that have been playing the game for a while are like, I do this all the time. That's not that bad. So what if we take it a step further? In Below Zero, you can take baby pinglings and use them as ammo to kill their parents, the penguins. Now, that should count as pretty evil since you are using the child to kill the parent. Unfortunately, this does not work with baby snow stalkers as they are a little too big to pick up with the propulsion cannon. But don't worry if you just need to grab that piece of copper laying around and it works just as well. Now, other suggestions I found in this style were to use the propulsion cannon to launch fish out onto land where they cannot breathe. You can also use the propulsion cannon to shoot floaters onto other creatures, which will cause them to swim very strangely. But this really is hit or miss, and not hit or miss in that the aiming is the problem. Some of the smaller creatures are a little bit hard to hit, but will respond better to floaters. On larger creatures, I've watched the floater go right through the middle of them. So it should have attached to them, but it didn't. And then when I did get one to attach, it had little to no effect. Now, one suggestion I came up with from all this that I did not see on Reddit has to do with sea treader feces. That's right, sea treader poop, because despite all I've shown that there are a lot of better options than the sea treader poop for bioreactors, there's still tons of people that say sea treader poop is the best and don't want to look at the actual numbers. So this one's for you because my suggestion is to use the propulsion cannon to pick up sea treader poop and fling it back at the sea treaders. So instead of flinging your own poop, you're picking up the poop of the sea treaders and flinging it back at them like an evil monkey. Now that was all really one suggestion because it all had to do with the propulsion cannon and that was kind of different suggestions I found around Reddit and other places on what you can do with it that would be evil. So the second suggestion I found that was pretty evil sounding is to cook fish and then drop them in the water in front of their still living friends. Obviously, this will actually do nothing in the game because the fish are not going to respond to this. They're going to swim away from you anyway. But you can have a nice little chuckle to yourself about the psychological damage you're causing. So number three is to put stalkers or any carnivorous creature that you can collect either itself or with the eggs into an alien containment. Once you have two of the same carnivorous creature in the containment, you remove the hatch. Basically, this is you sealing them in, and since they are carnivorous, they need to eat other fish. However, they are the only ones in there, so you're basically turning them into cannibals. Number four is really one of the most interesting suggestions I found anywhere, just because it's something I never thought to try. And that is to build a wall across the sea treader's path. Now with this suggestion, it was said to try it in a new save, 
but I did it in an existing game save and I just saw some more FPS loss. Of course, I did not save afterwards and try to reload it. So if you want to do this in an existing game, make a backup. It's actually really easy to do this because you just need to place down a few eye compartments in a path where they cannot get around it and watch as the sea treaders just pile up against it and get stuck there. And last, one of the most common things I saw has to do with the tiger plant. So number five is to use tiger plants to attack other fish. This means placing down an exterior grow bed or multiple grow beds, filling them with tiger plants, and then waiting for the tiger plants to grow to maturity. Once the tiger plants are mature, the idea was to take creatures that you can get with either picking them up by hand, picking them up from inside your alien containment, or using the propulsion cannon to drag them and put them in the middle of these tiger plants and watch them shoot at them. The problem with that is, unless you're using console commands, the tiger plants are going to target you first. So you can place tiger plants down and then place some fish in the middle and swim away quickly and then hope you get a good view of the carnage. But I have a better suggestion for this. So my idea is that you do the same thing, placing down the exterior grow beds with the tiger plants, but then in the middle, you place a few pieces of metal salvage. If you do this in the kelp forest area, you'll already have stalkers there, or you can do it and then bring stalkers from your alien containment and drop them off. This will allow you to get out of the way so that when the stalkers come in to get the metal salvage, they are going to be targeted first by the tiger plants. So there you go, a few suggestions on things you can do that are technically evil in Subnautica and Below Zero. Now, if you have your own suggestion for something evil to do in Subnautica that was not covered in this video, post it in a comment below. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to boop that like button because it does help me out. And thanks for watching.